What's good, y'all? On this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I crimp my brushes. Now, I'm not too sure if there's a proper way to do it, but this is just how I do it and what works for me. I've gotten a lot of questions on how I get my brush so flat. So on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the exact steps I take when I get a new brush. The first thing I like to do when I get my brush is kind of just break up the bristles. So when you first get your brush, the bristles are kind of glued together. So you want to go ahead and break that up and just dust it off. <laughs> Once I'm done with that step, I go ahead and fill up my monomer jar and just dip my brush into it. I like to do it just because I feel like it kind of gets rid of the rest of the powder that was on there. Once you get the excess monomer off, I like to go in and just pinch it with my fingers. I pinch the brush flat down. You want to be wearing gloves when you're doing this. You don't want to do this with your finger, you know? So make sure you're wearing gloves. I like to get a paper towel and just wrap my brush handle just so when I do go in with the pliers it doesn't cause any extra damage. these baby pliers i did get them in the kit for like some nail piercings but i'm sure you could use any pliers the key to this is just to not squeeze as hard you want to make sure you're applying pressure but not too much <laughs> It was already perfect here, but I decided to do it again. Now, I don't have a specific way that I do this or when I decide to stop, but whenever I feel like it's flat enough, that's just when I stop. <laughs> Once I'm done crimping it, I dip it in my monomer again and make sure that it's real flat. So as you can see, it's very, very flat. If you look at it from the side, it's flat as well. I like to get some scissors and cut it flat, real squared out. So as you can see on the tip of the brush, it's very rounded out. And some people like it. I personally don't. So I go ahead and grab my scissors and just cut straight across from the tip of the brush. Um, you don't have to do it. 
I just feel like it's real easier for me to work with it and get into the cuticles. I honestly don't even know when I got into cutting the bristles or how I even started doing it. But I did one day and it was a game changer. It's been a game changer since. You do have to be very careful though because you don't want to accidentally cut too much. You can always cut more but you can't put it back, you know. So take it real slow. Go in very easy. I kind of already know where to cut and how I'm going to cut it. So it's easier for me. But if it's your first time, take your time with it and don't rush it. Once I'm done with all these steps, there's not much that I really do after. I just kind of go on and continue to use it. Of course, not getting acrylic stuck into it and all that stuff. But other than that, that's about it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video or if you guys want me to just stick to the regular nail videos. If you guys have any feedback or questions, drop them down in the comment section. And to all my subscribers, thank you guys so much for the love and support once again. I'll catch you guys on the next video.